Hi guys and welcome to another video. This is a tutorial about combat system knockback and of course flinging. Link for the model in the description. I have already made a video about this a while ago but this time it's smoother. I want to mention that I am making a cool game. I have already made to devlogs. Feel free to check them. This is a smoother knockback and fling. I lowered the force. You can increase the force for a better result. I am actually using this in my game and I'm giving it for free. Now I will explain everything. This is advanced scripting. If you find it hard, leave a comment. I will drop a video about the hard parts. All right, we begin with the local script. We have the necessary variables like the player, his character humanoid and humanoid root part. This function is used to find the player's insider part that we call hitbox. We loop through the return table. And if the part in the table has a humanoid, we keep it else we remove it. That's what it does. It return the players in the hitbox. The next function is spawning the hitbox. We are simply creating a part and welding it to the player. And then we created a filter. So our character and tool doesn't include in the hitbox detection then we get the parts in the hitbox and we remove the non players from it then once the tool is activated we play an animation and we spawn the hitbox and we fire a remote event to tell the server to knock and fling the players now to the server script the first function is knock force which is responsible of creating the knockback and flinging the player we are using vector force to knock the player and angular velocity to fling him you can play around with the values and increase the life duration of the force for a better result we are setting the network owner to the player, so he handles the calculation instead of the server. We get the direction of the knockback. I have already made a video about magnitude. I won't explain the force properties, maybe in another video, so I take my time. We check if our target has a tool, then we equip and unequip it to fix a bug. The final function is simply looping through the table and applying the effect for each person only if the cooldown is done. And I forgot to mention that we are sending the table via the local script to the server by a remote event. That's pretty much it. Leave a like and a comment to support me. I will drop a devlog in the next few days.